I can't help but like squeezing paint out onto uh, the canvas. I will oftentimes like dry the paint out first before putting it on the canvas. So I'll like stick it, squeeze it out onto some cardboard and let it absorb all the oil. And then I'll pick it up like, uh, like Play-Doh or something like that. And you get some more malleable. The work that I do is exclusively figurative. I tried to get away from it briefly, and I have not been able to do that. So it's always, I always have to have figures, mostly male figures lately. Most of the images I start from are uh, vintage erotica. For some reason, a lot of my friends give me uh, like men's magazines, so I have just like piles of it. The images are confused, like the uh, the portraits. These are portraits of people, and they're sort of uh, mixed up, uh, confused people. Uh, there's a painting titled "Sweet and Sour Cowboy" that um, is like a picture at dusk of a cowboy. His pants kind of coming down a little bit, and he's riding towards the sunset on this farm. The picture, I was like so fascinated with this phot photograph of this guy kind of like looking over his shoulder with his like rear end exposed that um, like I couldn't like not uh, work with that picture. And then I covered the painting with flies. I think it goes back to like gross out stuff. Like there's like flies buzzing around as I would imagine there would be on the farm. What should I title this one? I can talk about this one. Young, very young. Portrait of a young man, I guess. <laughs> Isn't that like a James? <laughs> Portrait Jameson? of the artist yeah. is a young man. <laughs> Portrait of the artist is a young man. The working title, the title of the piece would be Portrait of an Artist as a Young Man. It was conceived actually really quick. I was, I had all this extra paint left over. And uh, it, like I'm trying to come more 3D, come out of the canvas more. And I have tons of this dried up paint lip sitting around, so I just started throwing it on, just like in no particular fashion. I don't know, it kind of reminds me of like a impressionist painting almost, because it's like speckles of color. The paper installation is different from the paintings, but I have been doing a lot of work with paper. It's actually a lot cheaper to do it this way, with paper rather than with paint. Uh, but it's 3D, you know, it's layered, there's lots of layers of stuff. My friend seems to think that it's like a boy coming of age with a snake and the uh, coming out of uh, seclusion. I'm super excited to be paired with Jamie and I've known about her work for a year or two. I love like the energy in her paintings and I'm super excited to see it actually in Detroit. Like often she, it seems like she mixes, you know, cartoon-like figure here with like sort of more representational stuff over here and creates this kind of bizarre environment that uh, speaks to me. Um, and I'm, I'm happy to be somehow associated with that. I don't see the characters as me, I see them as just sort of like people. And, uh, you know, people who make mistakes, who are misguided, who, you know, some of which I, you know, I can identify with myself. Uh, sort of like uh, people like who are very proud, who are like overconfident. Just humanity in general. You know, nobody in particular, I have faith in humanity. But I just think that sometimes we take ourselves too seriously. Tomorrow, baby. Tomorrow, baby. Tomorrow, baby. Tomorrow.